What's up my fellow devs and welcome back to the dev shop. So today we're going to talk about how we create a timer inside of Lumberyard. Now it's very simplistic on how you go about that but timers are very universal and widely used inside of games. Whether it be counting down the time for each segment of your game like say you know your game ends in 30 seconds and you're trying to see how many points can be scored within those 30 seconds or timers can be used for you know traps and it can be used for uh, explosions and things like that so learning how to create that in lumberyard will probably give you an idea of how to go about a lot of different mechanics for your games in the future in the near future hopefully so let's go ahead and set that up so we already have our entity here with our lua learning lua script and as you can see it's a very empty script our default setup and I have left the on tick from the previous video there so what I need to do is actually create a variable to use that so we're going to get our tick bus because that's what we need to subscribe to the on tick pass in self all right I'm just going to really fill this out real quickly all right we'll go ahead and save that so it's really simple so what we're going to do is create a variable to hold our time and we're going to go to our properties and we're going to call it countdown and we're going to set it to 30 which will be our 30 seconds uh, all right i'm going to create another variable which you would use for the ui i'm not going to actually incorporate a ui here because it it doesn't go with the four part series that we have created, which is learning Lua. But if you are a follower of the channel, you should have an idea of how to make a UI and even how to communicate with the UI because I have done it in a number of videos, especially the FPS series and a few others, uh, some of the legacy videos. So we're just going to create a string, which is going to be, uh, we're going to call it um, ending message, and we're just going to say uh, game over. And this is going to reside in our console. Uh, we're going to print this out. Right. So now that we have that in our on tick, since we are subscribed to it now here, we just want to do self dot properties dot countdown equals minus delta time and that's going to count down for us actually I want to add actually a timer here so um, actually I'm adding on activate because we don't need to change it because um, we wanted to go down every second so let me do a self dot timer equals one all right and actually you want to take the timer and replace it with the countdown sorry about that it's a little confusing <laughs> so our timer is going to be used to count down every second which is why we had set it to one and then when that second is up we're going to uh, subtract the countdown so if we say if self dot timer is less than or equal to zero then let's set our end self dot properties dot countdown equal to self dot properties dot countdown minus one and then we would have set our timer back to one. So it's doing that every second. And then we want to do inside of here if so we want to say if self dot properties dot countdown is less than or equal to zero then we want to say 
this is just for checking that it doesn't go to like negative one. I'm going to say self dot properties dot countdown equal to zero, and then I'm going to say debug dot log two string, which you guys should be familiar with by now. Actually, no, we don't need two string. I'm sorry. We just want self dot properties dot ending message. And then we need to give it a end for this function call. And actually, I need to bag that up some. There we go. I hate gaps, so let me close that gap. It's save, and everything seems to be all right. So I'm going to give it a good look over real quick. One thing you might want to do, because if you're going to have a timer on your game, and this is going to probably be your game master, it's probably going to never be disconnected or deleted unless you do it manually. So you can actually inside of here when it hits zero is to either disable or destroy I wouldn't destroy the entity that kind of be kind of dumb you might have other things connected to it but you might want to actually do this right here inside of here actually so that is disconnecting right away when it's done and there's one more thing that I need to do or that we need to do uh, to make sure that it works and I almost forgot and it is from here under our uh, subtraction of our countdown we want to actually do another debug.log and this one wanted to be a two string because we're going to be put inputting a number and we want to capture our actual countdown so that we can see it otherwise it would be blank and we'll be uh, guessing when it gets to zero All right, close that off. Cool, now let's minimize that now. And now that we have our console up, we actually don't want to count from 30 because it'd be a long tutorial, but let's just test it to see if it works. See, so you have 29, 28. All right, so let's actually set this to five. And let's see if we have it working correctly. There we go. And that will be our timer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys have a better idea of how to use Lua in Lumberyard. Um, if you were hesitant to jump into it for the engine. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, uh, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, you can reach me on our Discord. Other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering on your projects. And until next time, keep developing.